This is an old Bush DAC 90 valve radio. There's quite a lot of these around. They were made in the 50s and it's in a Bakelite cabinet. So I've taken this one apart uh, mostly to give it a good old clean up. The got a lot of the muck and grime off it with um, a fine wire wool and some like, bit of washing up liquid. It's very light, the cabinet's very light, but it's light, isn't heavy. Back of the tuning dial is there. You need to be careful with that because the if you rub that with something the, the lettering will come off. The little holes in the base Right there, by that great big crack, which also needs fixing. They there to, if you want to get the knobs off the front, um, they're held on with little grub screws. So you need to, you can put a screwdriver through those holes and release the uh, the, the switches. This is the one that goes on the side. That's the same. So don't just try and pull them off like you would a normal radio, because you'll end up probably breaking the uh, breaking the knob. So that's the that's the cabinet. This is the grill. Somebody's stuck their finger through the front of this one, made a hole in it, which has unfortunately come out on the the um, loudspeaker. So I don't know where the speaker works. I've not tested any of it yet. So the actual radio chassis itself is it's a super het design, according to the. There is actually a circuit diagram for it, and it's got five valves, one of which is a rectifier valve. Now the problem with this unit, it looks like it's been left in a shed or something, and it's got really damp because the this is the tuning dial, and it's just you know, it should slide along this metal bar, but it's just totally jammed up. There's a this here is a sort is a diffuser. There's some little um, if I can move it. There's some little light bulbs under there. Just want to see, it's a couple of light bulbs. So they light that up, which lights up the tuning dial on the machine. We'll say there's huge amounts of corrosion in this one, and the big, real big problem is this. This is the tuning capacitor, and it should. This bit here should rotate. And mesh with the, the these uh, veins down there, but it's um, it's just jammed up solid. So I'd even, I'd even need to find another one, or take it all apart and see if I can free it up. There's also a lot of corrosion on these. Um, I think they're coils. So these are the these are the valves. If you're not familiar with valve stuff, rusted up on the bottom there. They should probably pull out. I haven't tried pulling one out, but I think valves are probably seem to be a bit more resilient, you know, a bit more, a bit tougher than you might expect them to be. So that's the top of it. On the end of it, on the side here, we have got this big wheel, which is the actual aerial. So looking looking underneath the unit, the electronics is fairly basic. It's just all fitted on a tag board. But there's some pretty manky corrosion going on. But I think replacing a lot of the dodgy old capacitors would probably be uh, all that would be needed to get it to work. Assuming the coils. Uh, this is this is the uh, this is these, this is the underside of the the coils. So assuming they, they weren't all completely knacked, it, it might well have some life in it. There's a big uh, big capacitor here. If you are playing around with these, you've got to be really careful because the mains, the chassis, the, it, one side of this chassis is connected to the mains and depending on which way you wire it up, the chassis will either be connected straight to the mains neutral or the mains live. So you don't want to be mucking about with that because you could get a nasty shock just by touching the chassis. This is the uh, capacitor. I assume that's a smoothing capacitor on the power supply. So 
So this is where the uh, mains goes in. So thank you for watching this little tour of a Bush DAC90A. There might be a part two video where I've just, you know, to show you what I've actually done with it in terms of just getting it working again or turning it into some sort of Bluetooth um, speaker.